Howdy guys, Elementary OS has come out with a new version, so let's check it out. The new release is version 8. There's updates to its software center, as well as a number of improvements to its usability. It was already a pretty nice distro to look at, so let's see what's changed. Now one thing to remember is, Elementary OS is free to use. They do have this screen which implies you need to pay for it, but you can just put in $0 and proceed onto the ISO download. One thing you notice right away is Elementary OS looks very polished. Even on the install screen, the UI is very minimal and understated. Full marks for picking the correct resolution right away as well. One of the improvements to the new version is driver support. The last time I looked at this distro, I remember it was beautiful and Mac OS-like, but its software center and system updates were too clunky and hard to use. It felt like in trying to make Linux like a Mac, they had just crippled the good side of Linux. And I did not recommend using version seven. It will be interesting to see if things are better this time. I'm loving this install logo, by the way. It's slowly changing color as it progresses. Nice work. Righto now, we are in the installed system. Seem to not like Australian keyboards. Why won't it let me in? I'm not sure why I even needed to fill that in again. Surely, since I already specified that stuff on the live CD, it can just be used on the installed system. It's not like I have a keyboard I use just for live CDs. We are finally in the brand spanking new elementary OS 8. The interface looks largely similar, but things do feel a little snappier than previous versions. Let's just breeze past this welcome screen. Now, if this looks different to other Linux distros, it's because it's neither GNOME or KDE, but the Pantheon desktop. Pantheon is not as customizable as the big two, but from what I've seen of it, it's simpler to use, especially if you are a casual user. The app menu looks much the same and still very slick. The apps that are installed by default also are just enough to do the job and each with a lovely icon. The top bar has some easy to use controls for date settings, volume controls, and networking. This last menu has in fact been updated with text sizing and a few other things have been moved around. I think that's a pretty good improvement. Everything is looking great so far. Another improvement is to window management. So let's have a play with that. One thing you will notice about elementary OS is that everything sort of fits. The design language is great and everything from icons to application borders to animation all look like they were designed and planned out by the same team. Linux desktops, especially KDE based ones can sometimes look disjointed. No such trouble here. Window handling is good. There is quite an obvious nod to Mac OS. I can see how if you wanted to try Linux after being on a Mac, this distro would be a logical choice. Elementary OS file browser is not super customizable, but it does the job. There are a few settings you can change, like the single or double click option here, but generally speaking, it's defaults just makes sense. So you won't really want to change much. Alrighty. My favorite part of these videos are the appearance options. And boy, does this distro come with some banging wallpapers. They are all super high quality and beautiful. And of course, we get to choose between light and dark mode themes, and you can also select an accent color of your choice. However, this doesn't make a huge change to how things look as the color shows up in very few places. The dock also has options to change its size and other attributes. Most of this is fairly standard, however. 
but I like how they've struck a nice balance of limiting customizations and ease of use. Sometimes two dozen options on your application dock can just be too much for some people. Okay, one of the major issues I had with version seven was its software center. Boy, was it clunky. I had to restart multiple times, wait for numerous system updates to complete. And after all that, the list of applications were very limited. This time, however, I'm pleased to say complete turnaround. Yes, I did have to do an update, but that's not completely unheard of in Linux land. Also, things just feel and load a lot faster. Everything's very snappy. The big, and I mean huge, update to all this is the addition of flat packs and the ability to sideload applications. You needed to jump through some hoops in the past, but now this is available from the get-go. So stuff like Discord are just available with a click of a button. Great work, elementary OS. Yeah, so let's summarize. Version 8 is a great update to elementary OS. In the past, I would not have recommended it, despite it just looking fantastic. This time around, it gets a big tick from me. If you are a casual user or maybe even a Mac user and want to dip your toe into Linux, Elementary OS could be the distro for you. It does a great job of building a distro that can not only be your daily driver, but do it with a level of polish that other distros can't match. Very, very nice indeed. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, 